Hi, my name is Albert Cuellar. I'm working with uh, Tim Burton. Now, I've worked with Tim since the early 90s. We started working on Ed Wood, uh, and I've been working with him ever since. It's mostly whatever art piece, you know, he's, he's working on. We did a lot of pieces for the Polaroids that you'll see in the show. We took a trip out to Death Valley for five days with the, the giant Polaroid camera and, and just had, a, had an amazing time out there. Having that camera and, and being directed by someone like Tim was, was a total joy. We made these creatures. They were drawings that Tim did, and it was a, it was a pleasure to bring them to, to life. There's a grace about his drawings that, that generally, a lot of people have a hard time creating into a 3D elements because, as you can see, all these, all these points and this whole entire heavy mass relies on this tiny little neck, which makes it interesting and makes it, again, graceful. The wings are steel. The, the construction itself is a steel construction, and then it's covered with a type of plastic, and the larger pieces are foam, and the foam was actually placed onto the neck of, the, of this piece and then, and then hollowed out by hand. And they're musical, too. As you can see, they're not, they're not living yet because Tim hasn't put his hand on them, but as soon as he does, these things will come to life. Uh, we're also working on a piece that is going in the blacklight room. This is the original drawing that Tim did. Um, it's just something really magical and I thought this was just so important to have. And so Tim decided to make this in 3D because it is four feet by six feet and it, need, it does need to hang on a very, very thin wire. So the problem was coming up with a solution for the 40, 50 pounds of water. So what we did is we, we decided to put a plasma ball down instead and it's a 16 inch plasma ball that hangs upside down and uh, the creatures are all hand carved uh, from rigid foam. Everything is coated with plastic. Uh, there's fiberglass that creates a shell where all the components um, fall in. The motors aren't hooked up right now but, but this, this piece will spin around. Underneath there will be the carousel and there's 13 figures that, that rotate around and uh, beneath that is this plasma ball. The darkness will help define all those, those charges that come out of that gas. Black light is, has a, such a great festive, carnival feeling, so I, I, I think people will enjoy that, and, and, uh, and I certainly have enjoyed making all this stuff.